Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spore here today with a couple of Halloween themed cards featuring brand new and previously released Mama Elephant stamps and dies to create adorable scene cards. So the new products for June 2021 are the Big Boo and Trick Sentiments, these awesome new oversized die cuts, and then the Little Witch Agenda stamps and dies. I thought it would be super fun to create background scenes and then mix and match the little boo, little witch, and little mummy agenda to create some really fun scene cards. We're going to start by taking this Trinity Stamps October Night Sky stencil and stenciling the moon, the bats, and the clouds in the background, and then we're going to overlay the awesome winter forest cover, which I like using for both winter themed cards and fall themed cards, as we're seeing here, to create a really fun backdrop for our sentiment and images. After I inked the moon with a combination of mustard seed and wild honey distress oxide inks, without any masking, I'm gonna go ahead and ink up the sky with blueprint sketch and black soot distress oxide inks. I want the blue to kind of overlap the moon just a little bit. It's also going to pull some of the yellow out into the sky to give a nice glow. And then I'm just going to apply my sky color. I always like to kind of do the light color first and then we're gonna deepen and darken the edges with black soot. This is probably my favorite color combination for a uh, kind of spookyish night sky. After I apply the black soot around the edges, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my Blueprint Sketch Blender and blend in a little additional blue and also kind of soften that whole uh, black color into the sky. Now, I kind of forgot about it until last minute, so I'm going to actually stencil the bats from this Trinity Stamps collection first, right over the moon, using the black soot ink. But then we are going to go back and take three of the cloud images from this same collection and ink up the clouds with a little bit of the Hero Hues Sea Salt Reactive Ink. This is, the reactive inks from Hero Arts are pretty similar to Distress Inks or Distress Oxides in that they're going to have that reactive property with water. We're not using any water today, but I really love the way the white pigment looks over a dark background. So let's go ahead and do our second background really quick, and then we will add our clouds over the top. What is amazing, while I have all these supplies out, I thought why not just go ahead and create two cards. In the Big Boo and Trick Creative Cuts collection, you get both of the sentiments, the boo to you and trick or treat. They actually die cut as one. And so because of that, I thought, let's just go ahead and create two cards. You get tons and tons of images in the little agenda stamp sets. None of my images between the two cards are repeats, even though the cards are extremely similar. So it's just handy. And now I already have two cards for this year's Halloween. Believe it or not, I cannot believe it. We are almost to July, um, which is crazy. The Christmas crafting is going to be coming in hot and heavy in July. Um, just the holiday products are gonna start showing up. Obviously, we already have some fall products showing up from our favorite manufacturers. So definitely, it is time to start thinking about doing our fall and holiday crafting so we have those things on hand when the holidays roll around. Same background as before. I absolutely love stencils for building background scenes, don't you guys? And especially the combination of stenciling and then some die cuts and then all of the cute images. So much fun. And these little bats are amazing. Even when we overlay the winter forest cover over the top, you are still gonna be able to see all of the great images kind of off in the distance. So here are those clouds that I was talking about. I'm going to take a blending brush and kind of pounce and then rub on some of this white sea salt reactive ink. I know it doesn't look like much, but when I remove the stencil, look at those great spooky clouds over the top. I know I mentioned this in another video that I did with Halloween that 
I like cute Halloween as opposed to scary and I absolutely, fall is my favorite season of all. I love fall decorations. I love pumpkin decorations. I love pumpkin quilting. I have so many plans for quilting. I am a quilter too. Um, and I just absolutely love them. I don't know why, but I do. I would love to know what you guys' favorite season is. Drop me a note, let me know. And I am so excited about these cards. I think they're really fun. If you guys are fans of the Little Agenda collection from Mama Elephant, and I know so many of you are, uh, Mama Elephant keeps bringing out so many amazing Little Agenda editions, which I think is great because obviously I have gone back now and pulled the Little Boo and Little Mummy agendas, which are from the previous two years releases. They've come out with a different one each year. And now the Little Witch, you can see how easy it is to mix and match them together here when we get to stamping and coloring these. So I'm gonna clean my stencils, clean my work surface, get rid of any ink that might be sitting there. And then I'm going to take some Bristol Smooth cardstock and die cut it with the Mama Elephant Winter Forest cover. I die cut this from the Bristol Smooth cardstock so that I could color in the trees and the ground the landscape there with some Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers to match the coloring that I'll be using for my little agenda images. So we're adding some deep brown and beige to the trees. We're gonna do the same thing for both backdrops. And then we're gonna add some green down along the landscape and that is going to complete our background building. So we have the stenciling and then we're gonna have our forest, our winter forest cover and then we'll have all of our images and our die cut sentiment on top of that. Really quick coloring here. You can see I'm not being super precise. Just kind of laying down the deep or darker color first and then we'll blend out with our lighter color on top. And I love how this is turning out. Definitely keep in mind, I know I use the Slimline uh, Winter Scene die from Mama Elephant a lot too. I used it on the video I will link at the end of this one where I created a Halloween scene with the new Happy Haunting set from the June 2021 release. And even though these are winter themed dies and they've been out for a while, neither of these covers is new at all. Um, you can use them in other ways. I love finding ways to take products that we might already use and own, own and use, I guess I should say, and combining them with brand new to breathe new life into them. So maybe you wanna pick up the new little agenda set, but you don't wanna to have to go out and buy a whole bunch of new product to create with it. This is a way to take something that has been available for a while, many of you probably already own, and breathe new life into it and still get tons of use out of it. I am a huge proponent of using the things that we maybe already have in new and fun ways. And this is a great one. I know you guys already are aware that I love scene building with my cards and I do a ton of scene building with my cards. And so any product that really stands the test of time and is able to be used in a lot of different ways is a very, is a big favorite, I guess I should say, of mine. So I am blending out the grass. Um, this took a little bit of work. I really think my green marker maybe needs to be replaced a little bit, my lighter green marker. But we are going to disguise some of those coloring lines in a bit um, I don't remember if I do it on camera or not. We'll see here in a second. I did die cut our big boo and trick dies from Smooth White Cardstock. And then I'm gonna take the same blueprint sketch and black soot distress oxide inks to add color to these. Not only are we going to use these die cuts on our card, but we will also be die cutting this from white cardstock again, slightly offsetting it for a little bit of a shadow and to also really help the sentiment pop from the background. So we'll go ahead and take our other sentiment and 
ink it up really quickly as well. I do like to clean my work surface as I am going, so I hopefully don't get too much ink in places I don't want it. I love the font on these, and I, again, love that Mama Elephant keeps adding to their collection of these big sentiments. They have quite a few. Um, even in the June release, they have quite a few, and then they have brought them out over the last several months, so it's a great addition to your crafting. It's also a great way to add fun sentiments if you maybe do Project Life or scrapbooking. These are big and bold and would be fantastic for those purposes as well, not just your card making. Once I have that, we are ready to stamp our images from our little agenda stamp sets and start coloring. Now, I know I share a lot of no line coloring, but I wanted this to be a little quicker and easier, so I am using Versafine Onyx Black Ink on Bristol Smooth cardstock to color in my images. And I have an assortment here from the Little Witch, Little Boo, and Little Mummy agendas, and I'm going to start coloring these in with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. One of the reasons I opted to not do the no line coloring with these little agenda images is I am using so, so many of them and it does take quite a bit more work just to follow the outline um, of the image when you're doing no line coloring. Plus the little, some of the little fine details sometimes get lost with the no line coloring. I tend to like the no line coloring slightly more a, if I'm not using as many images as I'm doing here today, and B, if the image is a little bigger. It really just kind of depends, I think, on my mood for the day, but I really do like how these turned out. And as I mentioned, it was quite a bit quicker to do it this way. One thing about the Versafine Onyx Black ink, it is my favorite ink to use with the Zigs. I only use it with the Zigs as far as coloring goes because it works really well with these particular markers. It doesn't dry as fast. It is not going to be safe for say your alcohol ink markers like Copic markers. You're gonna to need to use an ink specially uh, made for that kind of coloring. So you wanna keep that in mind. But I have found that using it with the Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers is really awesome. I know I haven't done uh, this in a while. I generally do no line coloring and so, um, I just wanted to make mention of that again since, like I said, I haven't done this in a little while. I have listed my marker colors across the top of the screen. They are also listed on my blog post that coordinates with this video. The link to that can be found in the description underneath the video here on YouTube. So if you want uh, a little bit slower reference for maybe what colors I'm using where, you can definitely find that information there. Plus there's gonna be links to all of the products used just like there is underneath the video here on YouTube. I decided to use some deep blues and purples for my witches, um, just to kind of coordinate and complement our background, but also add some color. And then we're doing just different colors of skin and hair for any of our face images, so witches and mummies. And then the ghosts, I did a little combination of it's called platinum brown. I don't really know why. To me, it looks grayish. It is a grayish brown. And then gray tint with a blender to blend out those colors for ghosts or anything that's going to be white. Those same two colors will be used for our mummies. And then some nice um, brown and light brown for pumpkins. The darker pumpkins are gonna be those two colors and then the lighter pumpkins are actually going to be light brown and the blender, just for a nice little variation. And I love that in the Little Witch Agenda there are so many pumpkin images. So maybe you don't wanna use the witches. Maybe you want to use, do more mummies or ghosts or whatever, but you would like to incorporate more pumpkin images. The pumpkins are really, really cute. I think there's about 
three different ones in the Little Witch Agenda set. They all have kitties in them, which is super fun as well. I like the little accessories. And then the spider that comes in the, I believe the Little Mummy Agenda it is, is really cute. And we're gonna be stamping him on all of our cards. Now I'm showing the coloring for all of the images on the first card. And earlier in the video I mentioned I didn't repeat any of the little agenda images between the two cards. They both have different images. However, because the coloring is all very similar, I'm using all of the same colors between the two designs. I did not uh, film that just to save some time as far as that goes because it is repetition. As with the colors and everything, even though the images are different. So keep that in mind. I'm only going to share the coloring here for the first card, but I will show you putting both cards together near the end of the video. I do like to add a little pink haze to the cheeks on my images if they have faces. I like that little additional touch and the zig coloring does go super fast but you can definitely color with any color medium you like that is just what i chose to use here today i kept all of the cats the same with dark gray and light gray And this first card has a lot, I kind of tried to go with images, not all, but a lot that had pumpkins, especially that are gonna be down along the ground. The second card still has a lot of pumpkins or cats. I had, um, I did a lot of witches with that are holding cats. I think all of the witches for the second card are holding cats. And then I tried to pick ghosts that just worked around the sentiment meaning something that could be popping out of a letter O. Um, even on this Boo to You card, we're gonna have a witch and a ghost popping out of letter O's and, thing, and then like a witch flying in the air. So just to kind of fill in all of that space, since the little agenda images are so small, something else is we're going to be tucking a couple of the images along the bottom landscape, peeking out from behind trees or back behind that just a little bit to also help with the depth and dimension of our card and our scene building. As you color, and I always like to lay my dark color down first and then blend out with my lighter color, in order to not have it all be one shade, I like to clean the tip of my lighter marker often to remove some of that darker ink from the tip. These are just so cute. We have just a couple more to color in and then we can start putting it all together with our sentiment and images. We're gonna have a little orange pumpkin that she's holding and then again, blue and purple, blue and violet, I guess, for outfits, grays for shoes. And here are all of our images. I die cut them off screen using all of the coordinating dies. We're going to back our winter forest cover with 1 8 inch double-sided adhesive around all four sides and then pop this in place right over our stenciled background. How cute is that? And I did draw in some little tufts of grass with my green marker to kind of disguise some of the messy coloring as well as add extra texture. We're going to glue the Boo to You slightly offset from our white die cut and then glue this in place kind of in the upper half of the card kind of it straddles 
the section, but we want to just kind of have it be a little higher for this one since I'll add a stamped sentiment underneath. The trick or treat is much bigger, so I won't be adding any extra sentiment there. We're gluing our little cat coming out of a pumpkin back behind, and also this little mummy is going to be peeking out from behind a tree. We have a witch coming out from the letter O in the word U, and a ghost coming out from the letter O, the middle letter O in the word Boo, plus another little ghost kind of back behind the O in the word Too. And then gluing all of the rest of our critters down in place along the bottom edge. So kind of once you have everything up, adhered up at the top part of the card, coming from around the sentiments and things, we're going to layer everybody else down here along the bottom. And I used liquid adhesive to glue all of these little cuties down. Next, we're going to take the Happy Haunting Sentiment from the Happy Haunting stamp set and stamp that with soft navy ink on a scrap of smooth white cardstock. I wasn't super happy with that first image, so I'll stamp it again. We'll die cut this with a sentiment label die to make a little sentiment strip and adhere it in place right underneath our die cut greeting with a foam adhesive strip. Then I'm going to take the spider from the little mummy agenda and we are going to stamp him a couple of times along the bottom edge and take a white pen and add the detail back in for his eyes. There is a coordinating die cut for the spider so if you would rather stamp him and die cut him with the coordinating die that is an option as well. How cute is this little scene? I just love it. So here is my second card. I am using the trick or treat sentiment obviously for this one and adding all of our little images. So I am going to show you the creation of this sped up just a little bit. A lot of it is very similar. Um, this time we just stuck with a couple of ghosts and a witch at the top part of the card. And then we're still gonna have a mummy peeking out from, and the mummy and the kitty and the pumpkin peeking out from the trees. Um, just a couple of witch images and kitties and pumpkins along the bottom edge, and then we will stamp additional spiders there. For the dot in the word trick, I decided instead of using that, I am going to stamp the spider on some smooth white cardstock and die cut that with the coordinating die and then pop that up there on the card for a little bit of a fun Halloween-y touch. Now we're gonna take that spider and just stamp him a couple of times. Use our white pen to draw the eye detail back in. How sweet is that? I just love these little cuties. I think they are so much fun to create with. And I was going to stamp it directly on the background and I decided on white I thought it would show up a little bit better. So I'm just going to grab my scrap here, pop that little spider in place, and our Halloween scene cards are all finished. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these Halloween scene cards featuring Mama Elephant stamps and dies. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Mama Elephant Halloween images that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a new card making video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.